Bubble Sword! Created by Molly and Becca. Now some people say the Bubble Sword has nothing worth recommending it. Some say even the Insertion Sword is better. But we say slow and steady wins the race. Uh, but seriously, we wouldn't recommend it for large lists that aren't partially sorted already. One good thing, though, is that it efficiently checks whether the list is sorted or not. This sorting method is good for baby lists. Somali, why do they call it the bubble sort anyways? Well, Becca, they call it the bubble sort because of the way the smaller numbers bubble to the top of the list. Oh, snap! Now I get it. So let's see this bad boy in action. The worst case scenario for the bubble sort is order n squared. That means in our example of four numbers, it must check 16 times to compare each individual number. Bubble sort checks in twos. The second number is less than the first number, so the pair rotates. Then the next pair is checked. The second is less than the first, so the pair again rotates. And so on and forth, so forth down the list. Then it goes back to the top of the list and starts all over again. This process is repeated until the bubble sort is run with no switches, indicating the list is in order. Yeah. Average case! Average cases are technically order n squared, but when working with shorter lists, this doesn't seem to always happen in that way. When looking at this, 1 and 4 don't need to switch. 4 and 3 do. One more switch, and we go back to the list again. 1 and 3 stay the same, and 2 and 3 switch. 3 and 4 stay. Running through the list, we see that the list is checked. That was much less than 4 starting the first and 1 ending the list. <laughs> Best case! Best case is order n, which means that it will only have to run through the list once, checking to make sure that the list is in order. 1 and 2 are okay, 2 and 3 are okay, and 3, oh, 3 and 4 are okay. Our list is okay. Well, I hate to burst your bubble. But that pretty much sums up the bubble sort. So, let's do a quick recap. Bubble sort is good for short lists and almost sorted lists. It's useful in checking if a list is sorted or not. Hey, and it's easy to remember, unlike my lines in this video. And that concludes the, the bubble, bubble sort!